So you do what you call reputation marketing. We do. Uh, everybody does reputation management, which we do as well. But I want to re do reputation marketing. Reputation management is taking those negative reviews and trying to get them off the first page of, of Google. And you hear them on the, you're driving in your car and you hear, you know, let us, let us help you push those reviews to the second page. I don't care about negative reviews because we are pushing so many positive reviews out there for a dentist that the, the positives completely overwhelm the negatives. So we want your happy patients to talk about you online. That's what reputation marketing is all about. Taking the positives, pushing them out there, overwhelming the negatives, and not worrying about the negatives as much. Now, I always teach dentists, you know, or I, t I talk, t talk to them and, and say to them, a, a bad review may spoil your breakfast, but you shouldn't allow it to spoil your lunch. So for okay. dentists out there who get bad reviews, I mean, they'll call me up, Len, what should I do? I don't know what to do. I got this bad review on Yelp, you know. Do you think they make too much of it? They do, they do. They, it, it, it overburdens. I have some clients day after day after day. I have this bad review, I don't know what to do about it. It's not the end of the world. What I teach is relax, take a deep breath, and don't worry about it anymore. Get more positives to overwhelm yeah, the negatives. What if I say, you know, his program sounds great, but you know, I'm in a different boat. I have got 15 negative reviews about me, and, and, and that's a lot. What I would say to that person is you should be using us a long time ago already, because I have over 1,500 reviews online, and somewhere between 40 and 50 negative reviews, and I mean by negative one, two, or three stars, and nobody ever worries about the negatives. They make me feel more relevant, more real. And, and more credible, because you got some... We got bad, bad ones and we've got a lot of good ones. So it makes us more credible, exactly. And it's credibility. Interesting. And the patients are buying into the credibility. So I don't necessarily mind the negative reviews because they make you look more real. Even, even incorrect spellings are better than perfectly grammatical ones because it makes you look more real. And the biggest reason why I don't buy negative reviews is because I want to learn how to better my business. And our software allows businesses to better their business because they're getting feedback from their patients on things that they should change in their office. I ran late. Good. There was a billing issue. The staff member was rude to me. They didn't speak to me nicely. I'm on hold forever. All those things you want to hear because you want to better your business. And I'm always looking to better my business. And that's why I developed the software program we did. So for those people that have 10, 20, 30 negative reviews, that's exactly why they need to get your program to overshadow with the good reviews. Correct. If you have 20 or 30 negatives and you only have a few positives, there was a, a dentist who signed up in last February at the Chicago Midwinter meeting. And he sat down at my table and he goes, Len, I don't know what you do yet, but I need your help. And I, and I said, just look me up online. I looked him up online and the entire first page of, of Google results were negative reviews about him. And, and normally my clients have you know, 25, 30 good reviews and two or three negatives. But this guy had like 40 negatives and five positives. And I was like, I was reading them. And a lot of them were because the guy was arrogant. It was not a nice guy. He was rude to his, his staff members. <laughs> I mean, that's the res reviews that he was yeah. getting. And I told him, I don't know if I can help you because I can't change the way you treat patients. I can't tr change your attitude. But if you have your happy patients, they can talk about you online. So I just spoke to his office a few weeks ago and they've turned their entire online reputation around because now they, they have tons of positives that are overshadowing the negatives. And now patients are calling wanting to schedule appointments with him again because he's got the positivity. So that's there. reputation marketing. That's reputation Did marketing. Did you invent this category? Well, I don't think I invented it, but I can tell you that BirdEye owns it right now. Okay, so you guys do it better. We do better than anybody else in the market. So, don't, so especially if you have some negative reviews, you need to get this done. And, oh. if, and if you just have 20 good reviews, you're gonna show them how to get maybe hundreds of positive re of reviews, Correct. right? Correct, even if you have five, if you have none, which a lot of people have no reviews or one or two, we're gonna show them how to get more reviews from their patients. Their happy patients are gonna tell stories which are more credible. They're gonna go online and they're gonna attract more new patients to your practice. That's simply the, the cycle that occurs okay. with our software. So what are some of the things out there that are misconceptions about what you do, what BirdEye does and what your company does that maybe frustrate you, that you wanna address right here? Well, I can tell you a lot of times people come up to me or I come up to people at shows and I say, you know, what do you know about your reputation online? And most of them like walk by and say, I don't want to deal with that, which is, which actually that probably boggles me the most of anything is that most people don't even Google themselves and they're scared. I don't want to see what people are saying about me. You need to know what people are saying about you online. I, I Google myself at least once a week uh, to, <laughs> because I want to know what people are saying about me because you never know when a negative review is going to pop up about you. So I won't, that's one frustration is that most dentists don't want to know what people are saying about them. But the second one is, is that they're already doing something with reputation in their office. And they're using one of the pr communication programs, which will get reviews, but those reviews don't go anywhere. 
So that's probably the big, the other. So they don't know that they think they're part of something that is handling these good reviews when in fact it's more of a social media situation and not on all the major review sites? Correct. Well, it's not even a social media situation. It, it's, it's, it's a communication software. So these programs out there, they, they get recare, they um, confirm appointments. And one of the things they do, a small thing that they do is get reviews. But the problem is those reviews may go to the, the doctor's website. They may go to a Facebook on one of the little buttons you have to click on, which nobody clicks on. So we actually get the reviews on the, the Facebook wall of the business, the timeline. They show up there two seconds after the review is left. If it's positive, it goes right on the wall for all of their patients to see. We recommend the, the dentist comment. We recommend the team comments. And that's how things go viral online. And that's how word spreads about your business. So the thing that frustrates me, again, is they think they're using these programs that does reputation. They're a communication software that just happens to get reviews. Okay. Now, for people that didn't see some of the other, other parts of the interview that I have with you, what I like about you is I always say, you know, if you're going to hire a coach, if you're going to hire, make sure that they've had, res, you know, they, that they've done it before, right? And you have a $1.7 million practice. You don't really work full time, right? And you claim that a huge part of your practice every single day when you ask them is they say, it was your reviews that got me here. Most new patients. Would you say 400,000 a year are from these reviews? At least 400,000. I mean, in the, last, in the last two and a half years, almost three years now, over 400 patients have actually said to me that they chose my office because of my reviews online. And they don't call it online reputation. They say, I found your reviews online. That's what the patients call it. And they read them or they, they, they just check them out and they, they see a large score, a large number of reviews. I, don't, I only have one other competitor in my local area and he uses my program. <laughs> I mean, he uses my program. He's got 111 reviews just like I do. And he's a friend of mine in the Philadelphia area. And we have the most reviews by far in the city. So in my zip code, when you look and you type in dentist 19116 and they can do it while they're watching this, um, they will see my office and then I have competitors that are across the street from and me. And because they have your software. In, in, the same, in, the same, in the same zip code, you'll see my, uh, in the same uh, shopping center across the street, they have one. The, the guy across the street has six. The guy down the street has seven. Who are you going to choose? If you're a patient looking for a dentist and you But are you above them on the rankings I'm, I'm, because of reviews? I'm above them on the rankings because of the reviews. Yeah, obviously you're going to go to the one that attracts your eye. That's what it is. Especially if you're a, a review person. Star ratings is what attracts the people to the listing. Is this a younger group of patients or an older group? A combination of both. I mean, this is even, we even have a, a, a software solution for the older population. Because most older patients, not all of them, but most older patients don't necessarily know how to computers. They, they don't have an email address. So we actually have a written form that we can give the patient to fill out when they're in the office on a clipboard. And then the, the office has it as proof and they can type it into the system as if they were the patient. Now they're not gonna get a review on, on Google. They're not gonna get a review on Yelp because the patient doesn't have an email, but it's gonna go throughout the social media sites. People are gonna see them. And the best thing about it, which I didn't mention, is that if a review is left in the office and it doesn't get shared on Google and Yelp, it goes to the City Grid network sites. City, City Search, Insider Pages, Judy's Book, Bing, Yellow Pages, Yellow Bot, um, Merchant Circle, and Kudzu. All those sites start getting the reviews as well. So a simple review generated in the office is going all over online no matter what we do. That's why you want to use our software program.